Today we commemorate the Palm Sunday of the Lord's Passion and begin the Holy Week. And this is the only celebration where there are two Gospels read within the Mass. The first Gospel was read at the beginning of the celebration outside the church during the blessing of palms. And the first gospel tells us about the triumphal entry of Jesus to the city of Jerusalem. And the crowd, the people who were looking for the Messiah, upon knowing that Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem, they go out, they line the streets, wait his arrival, they laid their cloaks and cut branches from trees to welcome Jesus. Palms were leaves of triumph, much like the flags that people wave when a head of a state arrives. They did not have flags in those times, but people wave their branches their palm branches to honor Christ as he came toward Jerusalem after raising Lazarus. And these people were waiting for a messianic king that would be the mighty warrior and political savior of their nation. That was why they spontaneously and warmly welcomed Jesus. They laid their cloaks and they were proclaiming and they were singing, Hosanna, son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. As Jesus enters their city riding on a donkey. The second gospel, which is just proclaimed to us, the dramatized one, tells us about the trial, the condemnation, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. That five days after, five days later, after that Palm Sunday, after the people welcomed him to the city of Jerusalem, on Good Friday, those people who warmly welcomed Jesus, when they saw that nothing happened, they drifted away. And the same people were crying. They shouted, crucify him, crucify him. That brothers and sisters, did you notice the sudden transformation? That one of the most striking parts of the Palm Sunday for many people is the ship. They acclaim the people gave on Jesus on his way to Jerusalem, to their call for his death in the Passion. The same people who laid their cloaks on the roads as red carpet for Jesus, the same people who waved their palm branches as their flags for him, the same people who proclaim, who acclaim, Hosanna, son of David, when Jesus passed by, few days later, cried out. They turned on him and were demanding for his blood. That this tells us that people can change from one end to the other. Not an hour has passed, and yet the gospel has completely changed. The mood of the celebration has totally changed. The message of the very same people in the gospel made a 180 degree turn. And this is the sad reality. People can change so quickly. People can make promises now and break them the next moment. Somebody can tell you, I love you. You are the only one in my life. But the moment you turn your back, the same person 
can tell another these very same words. And people can do that without any guilt feeling. People can give you their word and forget it as if no word was spoken, no promise was made. People can change in a matter of days. From the Hosanna to the Son of David to crucify Him, crucify Him. And as we listen to the gospel and we, as we look on them, we may want to judge them. We may want to condemn them. We may look on them contemptuously until we realize that we are also like those people. For us, this ship takes the form of a split between the, the faith we profess and the life we live. That the drama of the Palm Sunday is not only an event of 2,000 years ago, it is still our drama today, the split between faith and life. That the people of the Palm Sunday is none other than ourselves. But one of the consoling thought proclaimed to us or given to us, however, is that even if we are not faithful, even if we change so quickly, even if we break our promises so eagerly, even if our words are empty, God is always faithful. God does not change. When God loves you, that is irrevocable. When God forgives you, that is irreversible. When God tells you that He will be faithful to you, He will be, even if you are not. When God tells you that He loves you, He loves you, even if you do not love Him in return. People can change, but the beautiful truth that this Palm Sunday teaches us is that God died for those people who proclaim Hosanna, son of David. But he also died for those who cried out, crucify him. God died for those who love him, but he also died for those who hated him. God died for those who are obedient, but he also died for those who are stubborn. God died for the good, but he also died for the bad. And among the bad, we are all included. Let us be consoled by the thought that God does not change. And we may love as God loves us. And lastly, from the gospel, we can observe three classes of people. The first one were the enemies of Jesus. These people wanted Jesus to die. They discredited him. They accused him. They did everything to destroy Jesus. The second class were those people who were indifferent. People who did nothing. They were just spectators. They were just observers. They did not care. It is not their business to be of help or to get involved. And the third class of people were those who became witnesses of Jesus. These people were moved. They were touched. They believed. They accepted Jesus. And they professed, truly, this man was the Son of God. They chose Jesus. They followed Him. Brothers and sisters, now, who are we among those three? 